The ESP32 Cam is an amazing little webcam module, but what if you're using it in low light situations? Not many people know this, but the module actually has a powerful built-in flashlight. Let's find out how to use it. So in this example, I'm going to use the standard camera web server example project. You can find this in files, then examples, ESP32 camera, and camera web server. Once the code has opened, then somewhere near the top, you need to add this line. So this is define LED underscore built in and number four. So put that somewhere at the top of the code. Now you need to look for void setup. And in the setup routine, we need to add this line pin mode and the arguments are LED underscore built in and the second argument is output. This will mean that we will send voltage to the pin to light up the LED. The third thing you need to do is to scroll down to the loop. So in the loop, I've added a number of new lines. You actually only need one to turn the LED on, and this is this one here. So digital right, and the arguments are LED underscore built in, and then high. So if you send it high, then that will turn the LED on. If you want to turn it off again, all you have to do is use the same thing, but send low as the second argument. So I've added a bit of useful debugging info here. Firstly, I'm outputting to the serial port, so serial.println, and I'm saying when the flash is on and off again, so we can monitor that down in the serial monitor. I've also introduced a three second delay, so this will make the LED flash on and then flash off at three second intervals. So I'll now upload the sketch to the ESP32 cam. Press the reset button. So now it's uploaded. I'll remember to unplug the one of the wires here and then press the reset button on the back of the ESP32. Now we can switch to the serial monitor. So now the light is on and is off. We're getting flash on and flash off in the Siri monitor. So it does all seem to be working. So that's about all there is really. If you get any problems, then do leave a comment below. Incidentally, most of the problems with the ESP32 cam and programming it are to do with using the wrong type of cable. Just a word of warning that the little LED here does actually get very hot, so don't touch it. And also, if you're using it in an Internet of Things project, then be very careful where you place it. Hope you found this useful. Remember to like and subscribe for more ESP32 and other microcontroller projects. Thanks for watching.